In this one, I would like to quickly show you how you can do modular exponentiation without having an overflow. Uh, and I will implement it in C. So modular exponentiation is just uh, you want to do uh, something, exponent something, and then at the end you do a, modu a modulo on the, on the result. And you can see that here it is, uh, it is 4. Uh, but if I implement this uh, in C, and this is the correct result because Python has like large numbers, but you can imagine that with such an exponent, which is not that big even, uh, this is going to overflow really fast. And so we can already see that if I run this uh, this example and see the answer is wrong, because uh, if I start uh, printing uh, the results uh, and uh, I I print it, you can see that uh, it, constant, it goes uh, at some point into negative numbers and it overflows and it overflows again and so on and so on. So uh, we don't want that, but we also don't really want to use big numbers because they take memory and they're harder to, to compute. But uh, there is a, yeah, just a, a quick uh, modular arithmetic uh, trick to, to get over this, which I will show you. So what you can do if you have, uh, let's say, A mod, uh, uh, mod, mod M, uh, this is equal to, uh, well, actually, let's say uh, a squared for the <laughs> for the purpose of this. Uh, this is the same thing as a uh, mod m times uh, a mod uh, m, and all of that. Uh, well, I don't have space anymore, but mod m as well. So if you you can actually not overflow because you. Uh, you take the remainder every time on uh, on each of the iteration of the loop. You can take the the yeah the, the the remainder of the result at each iteration, and so you never overflow. So what that would look like in uh, in code uh, is uh, let's say I call this one uh, overflow, and I just uh, well I could just copy paste it uh, like so. Let's remove the print. And what you can do is just yeah. Uh, implement what I just showed where you do uh, this and you uh, also take the remainder of the result after the multiplication like so and at the end you don't need to anymore and so now if we call uh, overflow and now we call uh, overflow like so uh, maybe I should put that a little to the side but we, can, we will be able to see now that, uh, well, if, <laughs> if I don't forget to uh, remove the, the overflow suffix, uh, we can see that I was wrong because... Uh, well, not, <laughs> not because it's just... Uh, in my print, I still use the overflow, so that's uh, that's my fault for renaming stuff. Uh, but yeah, if we run it, we can see that now modpo is indeed equal to four, and it's the correct answer, and it doesn't uh, overflow. I mean, I assume I don't need to print this because you you can see that the result will always always be uh, lower than seven. And so yeah, that's uh, quite nice when you are, and you can have like uh, huge exponents as well. Huh? Like uh, I put the uh, increase the thing as much as I want. Here I have an overflow, here I don't. Uh, but of course, that's uh, still quite slow. And uh, in my previous video, which I will link uh, somewhere uh, there, uh, I talk about uh, binary exponentiation, which is a, a nice trick to use the binary representation of the exponent uh, to avoid doing like uh, a lot of multiplications. Because here the exponent, if it's a large number, this will still take time. Uh, I'm not sure if I can uh, provoke it uh, somehow, let's say, uh, yeah, you can see that it took a second, uh, let's say I put that to, put that to five, it, it, take, it takes a while, you know, before it actually, uh, because it has to go through from, uh, through every single number uh, that are, it has to go from one to this number, so yeah, it's a very linear way, but uh, I'm gonna, if you, I'm going to implement it right now, but you can go watch the video if you're more interested. But you can actually have like the the binary exponentiation trick, but using uh, 
still uh, doing uh, modular exponentiation, so it would be modular binary exponentiation, very, feel very fancy now. Uh, so let me copy paste this and not forget to, to rename everything this time. So let's call it mod uh, power bin. And it's going to be quite similar to, to this, actually. Uh, oops, let me remove this. Uh, so instead of uh, decrementing the thing, we can uh, left shift it by one. Then at each iteration, we need to uh, uh, we need to uh, multiply the base by itself. And if the first binary digit of B uh, exponent is a one, we can then uh, do what we did before. So uh, we uh, we multiply the result by by the base. Uh, and here as well, we need to say that base, uh, we need to do the, the same thing. Every time we do a multiplication, we need to apply the modulo to it, uh, like so. And so now if I do this, modulo bin, don't forget to rename it. We will be able to see that, well, this one takes a while, but this one was instant since uh, it only had to go through every single uh, bit in the, in the exponent. Maybe it will be more clear if I do this. See, instant, which is quite uh, quite satisfying. Uh, so yeah, that's that's about it for this one. I uh, hope uh, you learned something. And this uh, in the next one, I will uh, show you uh, how we can uh, go faster uh, by uh, how to detect uh, if a number is prime faster using uh, using an algorithm that uses uh, modular. Uh, exponentiation and that's why it needs to be to be fast anyway see you in the next one